Hi guys, welcome to Beer Time. Old Kyla here. Let's do some day drinking. I've got something fun today. I know that you all have had a nightcap before, but what I'm going to do is have a daycap. That is something that is drank during the day, after all of the day's business is done, but it's still a day. Well, look at that. It's just noon. <laughs> Not so bad. Something I've been wanting to try for a while. I'm lucky I've got a couple of bottles of it. We'll see how it is. So, in the past, I've drank something I liked very much um, called Coca Vesa which is a beer with, it's a mocha stout with coffee and spices and peppers and weird stuff in it. Um, but here's the thing, I've got a bottle of this that has been soured and uh, it's also been aged in um, red wine and tequila barrels. So it's a little bit crazy. I think it's gonna be um, an awesome hot mess of a beer, but here, here's the thing. One, I like Coca Vesa. Two, I'm up for a challenge. And three, it's day drinking, so who cares, right? And um, this packaging on here is just so classy. It's a small 500 uh, milliliter bottle, um, and it's just got that great little thumb press in here for holding the bottle, which is elegant. Uh, this is 2005 series. And uh, you can supposedly age of this, and you should be able to. It's at 9.4%. I've only recently gotten it. So we're going to give this a go, see if I can't get this off of here. It's got great, it's got the little, the devil, the devil on the top of there. That's awesome. Oh, I can't, can't get that off. We're not going to do day drinking. Whatever, I plan for this. I'm so smart. S-M-A-R-T, S-R-A-M-T. And so what I've got here, I just love those corks. They're amazing. So I've got this. I don't really know what to expect because there's so many ingredients in here, right? Again, this is made by, uh, I didn't even say again. I don't even know if I told you. This is a stone product and um, should, be, should be good. This is stone, coca vesa, mocha stout. Ale brewed with cocoa, coffee, spices, aged and soured in red wine and tequila barrels. 9.4%. So let's see what we get here. I'm going to put this in an elegant bottle. I can see that it's very dark. It's also got a red tinge to it. Is that from the barrel? I don't know. Let's see what this smells like on the nose. Definitely soured. Bright. There's peppers in there, but there's also cherries in there. That's kind of cool. Kind of an exciting beer, really. Peppers are in there just a little bit. Lots of tart bean cherries, which are so yummy. And I said that this is a stout, and you know, it's a, it's a mocha stout, it's definitely all there. I mean, there is just tons of cocoa in this. Rich, rich um, baking cocoa. It's awesome. It's funny how something so sour, it is sour, you know, tart. Not a lot of bitterness coming through there. Not that you would have a ton of that probably with a high gravity stout anyway, but what an interesting beer. And I got to tell you, for desserts, things that are deep chocolate, chocolate and, you know, berries, things like that, man, I, this beer might be just peerless for that. Like, it, it's just so good. It runs the gamut between the being very bright and approachable and as it falls apart on your tongue, and it does fall apart, it transforms and becomes something else. A kind of mocha pepper powered ranger. And you can't even, none of the bitterness is left over. Or sorry, none of the tartness is left over. 
It's like this tart cherry thing on the front end, and it just transforms into this powdered chocolate coffee dessert. It's kind of amazing. What a neat beer. Yeah, I've been a fan of Coco Vese. I think it's kind of the best of those flavored stouts with pepper and some vanilla, I think Mexican hot cocoa and things like that. I think it's innovative and interesting. And the Stones collab beer, really, you know, that, that one was just really took the cake for me. I like it a lot. But this is a different animal altogether. And I'll tell you what else makes it a different animal other than it's ridiculously interesting taste. It's ridiculously good taste is the packaging on it is super classic. It's all in black. It has gold and uh, gold and white. Uh, the front of it's actually got a agave plant with some kind of crazy font. Some of the stuff that Stone's been doing lately, but then everything else is like very classy on it. It even in Stone's fashion explains a lot in the back, but it's not like one of these bitter diatribes that they do so well. It just explains the process and all the ingredients that are in it, and that's kind of cool. So if you're a if you're a beer nut, a home brewer, or something like that, you might really appreciate this for one, the amount of ingredients, how they brought it all together. They talk about focusing up, taking a mistake, a, a souring, if you will, of a batch of Coco Vesa, and then turning it into something which I think is pretty great, frankly. Mm. But back to the fact at hand, should you day drink this? Under normal circumstances, I would say no. But I think if you're going to have a day cap, if you're going to top off your morning, if you will, then you probably should pick something out worthy of your time. If you call it a day cap, fantastic. Pick something out that's worth a damn. What is worth a damn? Sure, you could just grab a coldie out of the fridge and you would still be day drinking. And I got to be honest with you, you'd still be kind of a badass. However, I think picking something out completely ridiculous on a, you know, an early day of the week at a time when you should be, you know, doing some business of the day, I think it's just super awesome. And you should just definitely do that. It's what I'm doing. And, you know, I'm benefiting from it. I'm having fun talking to you about it, obviously, but I'm getting this great taste <clears throat> in a frame of mind that I like. And I'm just making a little time for myself with a great beer and something that is hard to get a hold of in some ways. Um, and in some ways, it's, you know, I'm taking something that's precious, but then, you know, devil may care. Like, who cares? Just open it up. You know, if you're a wine nut, you know, you just like open up that bottle of Prisoner or whatever and you're just like, psh, pop that thing open and just, you know, drink it because it's lunch. You know, have it with your Panera salad because you're awesome. Anyway, guys, do some day drinking. Make a day cap for yourself sometime. Give yourself a little bit of rope. Make something great with it. I hope that you have a great day. I'm having a great time with this Loco Veza Extra Añejo from Stone. It's fantastic. You're fantastic, and I'll check you on the flip side. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.